We've all seen pictures, videos, or in-person large garden railways, and we have it in our heads that we need space to be able to enjoy live steam. I hope this video and all my videos help prove that you don't need a great big amount of space to enjoy operating a live steam locomotive. All right, so today I thought I would run my Bowman 265 that I've uh, modified uh, to run with my Mammoth equipment. As you can see, these are cut from some scra a scrapped case of an old VCR machine. Um, as described in a previous video, I'm just loading it up with fuel and I've never run it since there's been soil and plants in the planter. Well, okay, looking there, I can see there's a fire. This is good. Good, good, good. Oh, I can hear it starting to boil. You hear that? That's the sound. It's like a kettle when the kettle starts to boil or gets near boiling. As shown in a previous video, uh, inside of the cylinders on the ends of the rods are felt pads and before the run today I've soaked them in compound steam oil now we're going to go through all the broccoli pass the strawberries and the carrots Depending on the level of the water in the boiler, it changes the behavior of this engine. Sometimes it'll run faster, sometimes slower. Depending on, it'll speed up and slow down and speed up uh, as the water level decreases as well. They're tricky little fun things to drive. Of course, the, you know, the cylinders are not, a, they're quite worn, they're not like when it was new. But the engine runs just fine. Now it's time to have a go at this one. I re-gauged it for this track. My AccuCraft Sabrina received her boiler certificate on the 23rd of September, 2019. Currently the locomotive is going through all the herbs. Now it's passing the carrots. To the left there, the strawberries and some tomato plants and coming up through the broccoli. Here we are in AJ's corner. Nice. Gotta love that bell batching. I have to say, sitting here in a comfy garden chair by the station, it's a really pleasant place to sit and watch the train go around. I should decorate the inside of this station. Just a note about the garden. Uh, we have our various herbs around, of course, but uh, I planted really a lot of clover tight together. But as you can see, it kind of looks, when you cut it, I come out here with scissors and cut it, and it looks like uh, like grass or just low-cut br brush. And then the, glo the, the clover I've let to grow just looks like, you know, big bushy bits. And so everything on here you can eat because I don't know, most people don't realize this, but you can eat clover. You can put it in salad and eat it. I've eaten it. I've eaten this from here, the cuttings. So every, all the plants on here we can eat, but also it just looks really good. I think it looks really good around the station. Well, that was a pleasant run. I find this engine is quite efficient. <laughs> 